What's up guys, this is Matt from the Nerdy Review. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to 3D model a coffee mug in Fusion 360. So the point of this tutorial is to give you guys an introduction to the sweep feature. The sweep feature is what we'll be using to model the handle. And newer CAD users might not quite understand it or might not be able to put together, you know, uses for it. So you're going to get to see one in this video. Let's just take a quick look at this mug here so you see what you're doing. Then we'll get started. So first I'm creating a sketch on the front plane. And I'm going to sketch out uh, the cross section that will create our revolve feature. I'm going to do this by creating three lines as so. I'm going to make the bottom an inch and a quarter. I'm going to make it three and a half inches tall. I'm going to make it an inch and three quarters at the top. Next, we're going to create a fit point spline so that we can model the um, rounded edge of the cup. So pretty easy. Then we're going to go to create, revolve, choose our profile and our axis, and we're good there. I'm going to add a fillet to the bottom of 10 millimeters before I use the shell command to turn this into a cup. So the reason that I uh, did the fillet and then made it, then use the shell command is so that the inside would have a proper radius at the bottom. Now I'm gonna add a chamfer up here of two millimeters to create the lip. I'm also going to change my display settings to show visible edges. Okay. So next I have to create the guide path for the handle. So I'm going to choose the front plane again. And I'm going to use splines to create the handle. So before I do that though, I'm going to go to shaded with hidden edges. And you're going to want to... Um, start somewhere in the middle of the wall because if you do it right on the outside then uh, your handle might not connect to the mug properly it'll have like a funky gap and we don't want that so we're gonna sketch it somewhere in the middle roughly and then start clicking away at the spline And that looks pretty good. So this is going to be the guide path <coughs> that we will use in the sweep feature to make our handle. Next, I'm going to stop sketch. And then I'm going to insert some reference planes. I'm going to create a plane tangent to face at point. I'm going to select the end of our spline and the face of our mug. Click OK. I'm going to create an offset plane. I'm going to make it negative 2. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can sketch it right here. So I'm going to create a center rectangle on the origin. Make it 12, 6, and then add some fillets. a millimeter and a half. Stop sketch. And now we're going to use the sweep feature. We're going to select our profile and then our path. We're going to choose join. And then we're going to click OK. And I present to you the handle. Pretty easy. If I do say myself. Now it, it looks pretty nice like that. I'm going to go ahead and just add some fillets here to see what these look like.
There we go. Let's change our visual style. And you should have a completed coffee mug. Now, if you're a real pro, you can uh, create a set of molds for this and do slip casting. Stay tuned, and I will create a series of videos on how to actually turn this 3D designed mug into a physical ceramic mug that you can hold in your hand. With that being said, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see this uh, mug creation series that I'm going to be releasing, definitely subscribe so you can stay up to date on that. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.